So a uh, couple of people inquire about or are showing interest to use the NC sender. But if you look on my GitHub, unfortunately, one of the limitations to use the NC sender is you need to be on the Gibral Hall firmware. So if you're on Altmill, your SLB EXD comes with the CNC Hall firmware. The NC sender doesn't work 100% on the CNC Hall because I use some features that doesn't exist on CNC Hall. For example, the probe state uh, predefined variables doesn't exist on CNC Hall. Uh, I use that for doing a rapid change ATC set configuration or automatic configurations. On this demo today, is I'm gonna try to see if I can show you how the process for me of upgrading from CNC Hall to a Gearba Hall. So this is more for my advanced users. So if you're not comfortable upgrade, doing the freeware upgrade, I won't suggest you doing this and wait for the CNC to do the official release. But if you can wait, so I'm gonna show it to you. So hopefully this becomes smooth because in my experience, firmware upgrade is kind of a bit messy. It's inconsistent results. So we'll try to document as much as possible what I did to make it more consistent. As a start, I have a G sender open. It's already in, on stock if I dollar I. You can see my firmware is, it will show here, uh, SLB EXT version B 5.0.8. So that's a bit old firmware. Uh, so on this, we're gonna go to, so these are purely stock, you can see it's it's working, Spindle's probably working too. Uh, S3 is 2000, okay, it worked. M5, send, and I suggest to back up your firmware settings. So if you go to the tools, old uh, firmware, there is uh, export settings, do an export. But even after you export it, you, you, we can't use that settings to import to the Gearball Hall because somehow there, there's a conflict of some other settings, uh, CNC Hall is using versus the gear, Gearball Hall settings. Just for example, just $100 is not the same as $100 on Gearball Hall and CNC Hall. Just that, that's a, just an example. It might be, might be the same, but just for example. And the thing is, if you're using a spindle, the critical is Look for the 476, I think that's your Modbus address. In my case, I'm using two. So put this down because we need that for restoration later. Um, okay, then now let's go to, I'm gonna disconnect it and I'm gonna go to flash. Okay, first we're gonna go to my GitHub website and then there's a slash CNC stuff. Under the Altmail, there's a stable folder. Download the firmware settings and the firmware hex file. I think this dated uh, last October 21. So that's when. The reason I asked you to use my hex to make this consistent as much as possible, we're gonna use my uh, firmware that I generate and we're also gonna use the backup uh, firmware that I already saved. So let's download that, I already download that. So we're just gonna go to the G sender and then uh, go to the flash. We'll, fix, we'll pick the USB and then the file, this one, and then flash, yes. There's a little bit problem on my G sender, so it doesn't show you the, like unless I highlight it, but it, show, it should show you the percentage of status. If this fail, you might need to do the DFU uh, firmware. You need to go to the CNC website to see how to perform a DFU rest, uh, firmware upgrade, just in case your normal USB or your normal serial upgrade that didn't work or fail. So now I'm 100%. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna close this G sender and we're gonna power cycle the board. Power on, cycle the e-stop. And from this point, I'm gonna use my NC sender. 
Okay. Um, right now it's unconfigured, so we can we can check dollar dollar i. Yeah, it's sending us the information. If you go now, there's a version one app, then date 2025. 10, 18. That's the version of my Gearball Hall. So, and now let's open the, the other file that we download. It's the, let's go to download. Oh, I think, oh yeah. Did I download it? I think I haven't downloaded it. Let me actually download. So then now there was the, the Gearball extension. Or oh, you don't need to download. You can just copy this thing, but I let me download it. Okay. And then let's open it. I'll just use the visual code. Open on your favorite text editor. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just copy the content and then on the NC sender, I can either paste it, it here uh, or I'm just gonna use it. I mean, let me clear this thing. I'm gonna paste it here. And the reason I open that is so I can see if what success or what not. I'm just gonna enter. It seems, okay, there you go. Uh, for some other that's uh, not successful, sometimes I do this twice. Let's clear this, see if that works. Okay, everything looks green uh, green now, so we'll power cycle it again. And then I kind of press unlock. And home. Everything looks working. Although it should not happen in that because in my case, uh, as I already configured my rapid change ATC, uh, the first thing you need to do if you get an alarm 14 is you go to firmware. So if you type spindle, these are all the related spindle settings. So the key, the key settings that you need to look for is the 395, your default spindle, and then the 476, your Modbus address. Anything you change in this, even the Modbus address requires uh, restart both controller and the BFD. Make sure when you power the BFD, you wait for, before you power it back on, you wait for the BFD to really fully drain its power. Like my H100, it takes maybe 30 to 60 seconds before it fully powered the drain. Uh, else, some, you get, you're you gonna get an inconsistency. Uh, sometimes alarm 14 works, sometimes it doesn't work. It seems mine went smoothly. At this exact step you follow, might work for you. Let's see if everything's working. I'm gonna type M3S2000. Looks like it's working. Uh, so, and now I can use Jugworks. Okay guys, hopefully this helped you to move to uh, Gearball Hard Firmware. Talk to you guys later, bye.